Welcome to Eucanic. Today here on Eucanic we're going to go over how you would replace your brakes and rotors on a 2019 Nissan Sentra. This is the front brake and rotor. And so first you you would jack up the car and support it with jack stands, set the parking brake um, and or put blocks so the car won't move and the car won't fall down on you. Then you'll have to remove the tire itself to be able to get access to this. And then I like to turn it to the side here so that I can have easier access to the bolts that we need to remove and do undo. So you've got two size number 14s that need to be undone here. And that's And so we're just going to loosen the top one just a little bit and then the bottom one will remove completely and pull that out. I mean there's more than one way to do this but I like to do this. Put a screwdriver in here just to get a little bit of the pressure off the caliper and then now you can just twist this up like that and with that bolt holding it, then we can push this caliper back. And with the brake pad sitting in there, now you can push this caliper back and you'll keep it, 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 it maintains keeping it nice and level as it pushes in. And you also won't overpress it in because it hits the, the guides on the back. So that's been pushed back. Now we can remove that, remove that. And now you can just go ahead and remove the remainder of the uh, this bolt. And we're gonna set this caliper up here, keeping as, as little tension on this as we can. But we can just set it there to hold it in there in place. And now, just go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna note that when you put your when we put a new one on, you see these tabs? We put the this is the wear sensor, it's gonna start making a screech if you get too low. But we put it down through there when we put it on because this provides some spring to move the brakes away from the uh, rotor itself when you're going down the road. With those uh, Pieces. Now we're going to go ahead and undo these. These are two number 19s. These two bolts here, they're a size number 19 that hold the carrier onto the wheel hub itself. You can remove this whole carrier. You can also pull off your brake rotor. Sometimes these brake rotors you're gonna have to really, um, you might have to hit them with a hammer on the back here to knock them off because they'll be all uh, uh, rusted and corroded to the hub here and so you might have to knock them off with a hammer. Then we've got our new rotor here to put on. set that on there and then we're going to do a little prep work with our carrier here before we, we attach it up there. So with the carrier um, we're just going to clean this off with a little wire brush. Um, I uh, try not to breathe the, uh, the dust that comes off. Brake dust isn't good to breathe. So I'm wearing a mask for this process. Depending on what kit you buy for your brake pads and rotor, some a lot of times these uh, metal pieces will come new. The brake kit I have um, didn't include them, so 
and these are in not too bad a shape so we're pretty good there but if they do come with new you just pop them off and pop new ones on and then next we want to put we want to pop these uh, pop this out we'll clean off the old grease put some new grease on there so that this will slide very easily back and forth and as you're going and using your brakes so put some uh, the brake caliper grease on it it's a uh, high temp grease um, and then just press it back in until it hits the snap button or snap it, it really just pops around there We do the same thing with the other one. So now we put this, uh, I like guess, the tab sides. We want to put those in first or up top. We've tightened our two number 19 bolts here that hold the carrier onto the hub itself. And now we'll go ahead and put the brakes on and then put the caliper piece back on. So here's our, our new brakes. One thing you're going to make sure that these, the tabs, these are your wear sensor tabs, but they also function to go onto these metal tabs on both sides. So you're gonna get it on there and then rotate it in and place it in there because that provides some spring to hold your uh, brake pad away from the, the rotor. And you go down, you do the same on the back one. Okay, and then just kind of hold them there, and then you're able to take the caliper. Set the caliper there, and then put these size number 14 bolts in. So you just sit on goes up. Good to go. And before you drive, well, of course, you would put the uh, tire back on, tighten it up, put it on the ground, torque it back. But before you drive away, you want to make sure that you pump the brakes to be able to bring that gap so that your brakes will function the way that they need to and uh, be tighter on your new rotor and as so that you can stop when you need to. Thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic.